Hello my loves and welcome to this new ASMR Reiki session In today's full body point of view session we'll be working on attracting your soulmate So, if you're ready to call in your special person this year, then hopefully this video will help you in the process of that. So, before we get started with the session, I'll give you a quick overview of what ASMR triggers you can expect, just in case you are more sensitive to the sound of some of them um, as you're falling. So, there will be some tapping today, but it will be quite a soft kind of tapping, like so. So, nothing too harsh, nothing too fast either. There will be some crystal tapping, of course, and then we'll be grinding some herbs as well in this cute little mortar and pestle set. And then, of course, there's going to be some cord cutting. And today, we're doing something special. I tied all of these um, pieces of yarn to a crystal. And we'll be cutting through the cords like that. I was inspired by Tabuan. I believe that's how you pronounce his name. His channel. Um, he does some really great ASMR videos as well. And I saw in one of his cord cutting sessions or videos, he used these yarns attached to the camera. And I thought that was so smart. So I decided for today's video to take some inspiration from him and just help with the visual aspects of cutting cords. So that's for later on in the video. First, we're going to start by calling in the energy or the essence of mugwort. This is an herb that you can take as a tea, which I usually do before bed. It helps with sleep, but it's most well known for um, helping with lucid dreaming and um, astral projection. So it makes your dreams more more vivid and makes it easier for you to remember them as well. And since I can't actually physically give you the tea, I thought we would just call upon the energy of the Magor and allow it to calm us down before we get started with the Reiki. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this and if you happen to have this at home, feel free to make a cup. We're just going to take a little bit in here and grind it up. space here off to the side right next to you. I'm going to be placing it right there along with the crystals that we'll be using for today's session. And you actually might be able to hear our candle of today. It has a wood wick, which is where the crackling sound is coming.
This is a sandalwood candle. And we'll be using the candle to light our incense. Before I get started with the um, work on soulmates, we want to take a little bit of time to release the energies of the day. So, I'm going to go and grab the incense for today. Today we'll be using the Midnight Calm Incense Just to help soothe ourselves even more And then, before we light the incense, this will be the feather brush that we'll be using to disperse the incense through your aura. So, if there is any intention in specific that you would like to set surrounding Attracting in a soulmate, then you can do it now. I'll try to very gently tip over the candle so you can see the flame without actually spilling any wax on you. <laughs> so, take a moment to connect with the flame and state your intention. the side so you might be able to hear a little bit of crackling in the background hopefully so I'm going to very gently move the smoke throughout your aura all you have to do is relax and allow yourself to come back to your body to this very present moment Releasing the energies of the day. Going over your head as well here. Good. Clearing your mind. Shh. 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 Perfect. I'll be placing the incense off to the side here where it'll get 
continue to vote for the remainder of the session. So our next step is this rose water and we'll be using this to infuse your aura with more love and more compassion towards yourself before we get into calling in and manifesting your soulmate we want to let go of anything that is blocking this person from being able to come into your life a lot of times when it comes to manifestation it's more important to look at what's blocking this manifestation from coming into your life rather than feeling like you need to add a bunch of practices to your life or um, those kind of things. It's more about subtraction and removing anything um, that is blocking the energy flow because naturally we're, we're kind of born to be really good manifestors but it's the energy that we accumulate over time that blocks this natural process. So our next step will be to remove um, any sort of fear or any sort of um, negative experiences that we've had when it comes to love. And as we do this, I wanted to bring in this rose essence so that we can do this, this letting go process in a very gentle way, in a very sort of loving, self-compassionate way. So, this is rose water. It's actually organic too. I just got this off Etsy. It's so cute. So, let's open it up. It has a child lock on there. It likes to keep me
first step in the cleansing process I will be using this thin flat brush to brush away any resistance or blockages that we might have in our energy fields and I'll be going chakra by chakra of the body so let's start at your root chakra located by your hips and from this part of our body we are releasing any fear that we might have surrounding love and our special person And then moving up to your sacral, just below your belly button We'll be removing any sort of nervousness And any other sort of negative emotions that we might associate with love issues with communication surrounding our desires if you find that you have a hard time manifesting in general you might want to look into unblocking and clearing up or activating your throat chakra it's from this part that we actually are able to state our intentions and our desires in a clear way so that the universe can mirror those back to us and manifest them into material existence and then moving up to your third eye, middle of your forehead making sure here that we have a clear vision of what we want, that we can see what kind of person we want, what kind of person is good for us And then lastly, the crown chakra, located at the top of your head Removing any blockages that we might have surrounding trusting the universe Trusting the timeline of our life So, we have removed the bulk of the energy blockages, but we do want to go in 
and just remove any last little bits, little particles that might be um, lodged deeper in our energy field. And we'll be using this big piece of black tourmaline. chakra, lower belly. Solar plexus, upper belly. Heart chakra. Located in the middle of your chest. Throat chakra. Third eye. Middle of your forehead. And then the crown of your head, located at the top of your head, or at the crown chakra. Good. So, now we are ready to start cutting some cords with past lovers, with any um, fear or limiting beliefs that we might have surrounding love, soulmates, our ability to call in this person, our worthiness of love. And so, at the base here, I have a honey quartz crystal, and I've tied a bunch of yarn in different shapes, or different sizes I should say, in different colors to represent all the different connections that we might have with people that have overstayed their welcome people that we can let go of maybe we're not even in touch with them anymore but there's a part of our energy still holding on to what happened or what didn't happen and we just want to let go of these attachments because these attachments block our heart from being able to call in this person so I'll be using my tiny pair of scissors to very gently start cutting through these attachments and we'll just be going one by one Cut them right at the root. There. If there is any person that you know in specific that you're still holding on to, or maybe a negative belief about yourself, just visualize me cutting those away. And feel those actually moving away out of your aura as well. We let them go.
pink one here here are obviously not all the cords you have around your heart. Some cords are really good to have. Of course, we want to have attachments to people, especially people that are good to us. But these cords here only represent the ones that are no longer beneficial, so we're going to remove them all. Plus, these are the non-beneficial ones. last one and then we are going to start removing the base of the attachments here let's remove out this one let's see this one here and this one Almost there. Last one. There we go. Your heart is all free now. <laughs> so let's remove these ones. We're gonna go in as our last cleansing step with a little bit of that rose water again, just to dab it on the attachments where these cords were so that energetically these little vacuums of energy right now can be healed and can form a healthy environment, a healthy soil to new relationships, new and improved and healthy loving relationships. So I'm going to um, place some more on my fingers so Three of them, there we go And then We are ready Start dabbing this very gently, like so, on your heart space. the honey calcite off to the side and in its place rose quartz I'll be placing this beautiful piece right here on your heart again where the honey said was before and right now I will be um, doing Reiki on your heart at the same time the frequency of the rose quartz will assist in the process and I will guide you through a short visualization to help you open your heart and tap into the feeling and the frequency of love so the most important thing to do when calling it a new relationship is to embody 
the frequency of love to be more loving towards yourself to be more loving towards the people that are already in your life such as your friends and your family the more we focus on the love that we already have in our lives and the love that we can feel from ourselves, from other people the faster and the easier we'll attract more of that into our lives so that's why I'll be guiding you through this um, guided visualization or meditation to really help you feel and tap into that sensation of love okay? so I'll be placing my hands just above your heart and as I send Reiki energy to your heart I want you to bring all of your awareness to the center of your chest to your heart chakra connect with this part of your body and notice its current state notice how it feels in this moment Notice if you are guarding your heart, if your chest is a little sunken. See if you can start to open your heart. Maybe draw your shoulders back a little bit more. And then imagine your heart lighting up from the inside out Glowing brightly and warmly in your chest Feel the loving energy of your heart And then we're going to start sending love to everything that we are grateful for in our lives Everything that we love about our lives If you are laying in your bed right now, send love to your bed Send love to the room that you're in The house that you live in The roof above your head the food in the fridge send love to any of the people that might be in your house at this time family members flatmates send love to your own body as well Infusing every single cell of your body with this warm, glowing, bright energy of love Feel everything in your body click into place as it's being flooded with love And then continue sending love to people and things outside of yourself Friends, family Maybe your job Or if you don't like your job, maybe think of aspects of your job that you do like Sending love to your friends and maybe even the people that you don't get along with so well Try to find positive aspects about those people And send love to them anyways
feel how good it feels to send love to other people even if you never tell them, even if they don't know just notice how good it feels to be in this state of love I encourage you to come back to this space within yourself of love a couple of times a day you could set an alarm or weave it into your morning and evening routine and just keep bringing yourself back to the state of love and compassion towards others the state of willingly and intentionally choosing to see the good in your life just now gently fluffing up your aura but you can stay connected to that feeling of love as you allow yourself to drift off to sleep as I fluff up your aura just feel your energy field expand even more Reaching further. session and I wish you all the best of luck on your journey